I work at the intersection of reputation management and crisis, which often means that we're being called in when there's something like litigation or a potential bankruptcy. It could be an internal investigation. It could be whistleblower accusations, executive misconduct, the type of crisis that could disrupt a company or worse and really have a major impact on their reputation. The reality is that most companies are going to be hit by some sort of major issue, litigation, crisis, that could be catastrophic for the company. And the best companies are the ones who are prepared for that. For companies that get crisis response right, one key principle that they all share is they think about the long term. It's very tempting to put all of your focus on responding to the incident in real time and focusing on that alone. But there are a couple of other things that have to be happening at the same time. Number one, running your business. That needs to continue in order for your business to survive and thrive into the future. But number two, thinking about the issues that surround this crisis for the long term. It's very tempting to think about the issue as done when perhaps the moment is over, the operational incident has resolved, the litigation has been settled or has come to a close. The reality is there are reputational impacts that are going to continue well beyond that. So the companies that really thrive are the ones that are thinking about the long term. First, you have to protect and really defend your company and your reputation, but then you have to think, how are we promoting the things we are doing right? How are we promoting what we've changed about the business? And how are we continuing to really lean into and really invest behind all the things that give us that license to operate and demonstrate our strengths and what makes our company great at what we do?